Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, we are going to be examining one of the darkest paintings of the Romantic era, the Raft of the Medusa. It was painted by Theodore Jericho and tells the horrific story of the sinking of a French naval ship. This massive work hangs in the Louvre today, and it is just as haunting as when it first debuted. Theodore Jericho was a master of the Romantic style of painting. This can be clearly seen in his 1818-1819 through 1819 work, The Raft of the Medusa. The Medusa was a French naval ship that wrecked off the coast of Africa in 1816. 147 people were cast into the sea on rafts, and the majority of them died in the process. Others suffered from malnourishment and starvation, dehydration, and hallucinations. Some of the victims were even cannibalized. This event caused a huge scandal, and this painting reignited the controversy when it was displayed at the Paris Salon in 1819. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, paintings depicting historical events were extremely popular in Europe. Previously, these subjects would have been shown with straight, clear delineation and an almost stoic approach to the drama of the moment. However, Jericho broke away from this. He still did a lot of research to make sure the painting was accurate. In fact, he even built a life-size replica of the raft and interviewed the few survivors to make sure he truly understood the moment. But he also added intense emotions, dramatic lighting, and a sense of foreboding. This gives the work a clear narrative and brings a viewer to the horrific moment. It was a clear break from neoclassical art that inspired generations to come. Thanks to these new techniques, Jericho was able to create a painting that is both fascinating and dark. He reminds us of the human struggle to survive, and it was a shocking start to the new age of art.